and welcome to our day two coverage from the U.S. Open. Day one offered stunning upsets, drama around the grounds, and iconic moments from some of the game's greatest players. Behind me is world number six and 13-time Grand Slam champion Novak Djokovic with some last-minute preparation for his first round match coming here in Arthur Ashe Stadium later this afternoon. Keep it locked in with us all day long as we'll have behind the scenes coverage and live player practices. Joey Brander with you throughout the tournament, but now let's get to the action. Novak Djokovic just hitting the court, coming out for a quick practice session before his match later this afternoon. We saw his first round opponent, Martin Fuksovic of Hungary, out here just earlier. Djokovic, of course, coming into the tournament as a sixth ranked player in the world. They've gone roughly two years without a Grand Slam, but won this year's Wimbledon title. The six foot two, 31 year old Serbian has been playing well throughout the latter half of this season. He won the Cincinnati Masters just two weeks ago, defeating Roger Federer, 6'4, 6'4 in the final. Djokovic landing in Roger Federer's quarter of the draw. Those two have a possible quarterfinal matchup in the near future. Djokovic and Fuksovic have not played before. The Hungarian who will be facing Novak in the first round is just 26 years old, ranked number 41 in the world. Fuksovic had a hard-fought battle against Stan Wawrinka in the round of 32 in the Canadian Open last month, winning the first set 6-1, dropping the next two 7-6, 7-6, 12-10 in the third set tiebreaker to fall to Wawrinka, so the young Hungarian can certainly compete at the highest level. And certainly not a match that Novak is overlooking. The grounds are open and Fans are starting to pour into stadiums around the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. We have another exciting day today after a historic day one, opening day of the 50th U.S. Open. We saw world number one Simona Halep upset in the very first match to be played in the new Louis Armstrong Stadium. We saw 2017 finalist Kevin Anderson tested in a five-set battle with American Ryan Harrison. Anderson was able to pull through. And yesterday evening in the nightcap, we saw Serena Williams reclaim her dominance here in Flushing Meadows, two years since her last U.S. Open match. She came and dominated Magda Lynette. And following that match, Rafa Nadal faced countryman David Ferrer, who unfortunately had to retire due to injury, and announced that this will be the last Grand Slam appearance for the 36-year-old Spaniard. On tap today, Sam Stozer and Caroline Wozniacki will be the first match here in Arthur Ashe at noon. Novak Djokovic will be just after that tonight in the nightcap. Roger Federer, the number two seed and of course 20-time Grand Slam champion, will be facing off against Nishioka. Madison Keys, the 14th seed in 2017 Women's U.S. Open finalists will be the final match in Arthur Ashe Stadium this evening. Louis Armstrong Stadium, Ostapenko, Kerber, and Sasha Zver of the young German number four seed will all be playing in the day session. And tonight, Aussie sensation Nick Kyrgios. 
followed by Maria Sharapova. A lot of exciting action, and of course, we'll be bringing you live practice sessions all day long. Roger Federer and Maria Sharapova still to come later this afternoon. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Novak starting to open up the court a bit more. Some cross-court rallies. Let us know in the comments, how do you think Novak's going to do in the 2018 U.S. Open? Mero in the comments saying, good luck, Djokovic. Mo asks, what time will they start playing? The outer courts just started about 10 minutes ago at 11 a.m. Eastern, and here in Arthur Ashe Stadium, they will be starting play at noon Eastern, just in about, just under 50 minutes from now. That match, Sam Stozer and Caroline Wozniacki, the first on court. Fernando saying hello from Ecuador. Thank you to all our international fans for joining us. Let us know in the comments your pick to win the men's singles title at the U.S. Open. Will Novak Djokovic tie Pete Sampras with his 17th, I'm sorry, 14th Grand Slam? Rafa Nadal last night, the 17-time major champion, showed that he's still in top form. He took Cincinnati off last week after winning the Canadian Open, but looked very strong in the opening two sets against David Ferrer before Ferrer's retirement due to the calf injury. Nadal, in many folks' opinion, the player to beat here at the Open. Novak Djokovic may have something to say about that. We see Djokovic getting some instruction from his team on that backhand. He's been focusing on the backhand quite a bit throughout practice. We saw on the third day of Fan Week him come out after playing uh, a practice set, come out here with a small basket of balls and his coach and just hit backhand after backhand, both coming over the ball and working on that slice, which we see him hitting now. One comment saying it'll be a great match between Federer and Djokovic if they both reach the quarters. We completely agree. That'll be one to look forward to. Novak, of course, a two-time U.S. Open champion himself, winning in 2011 and 2015. Thirteen Grand Slams, five ATP World Tour Finals victories. Was also a bronze medalist in the 2008 Olympic Games. Novak turned pro in 2003, and his 70 career titles are good for seventh all-time in the Open era. Fans starting to stream into Arthur Ashe Stadium here, taking pictures of the world number six. Patty commenting, going to be well over 110 degrees on court for his match. Well, Patty, I can tell you, sitting here courtside, it is very warm. It is very warm out here. But still a beautiful day to be at the Open nonetheless. If you're in the New York area, make sure you come on out. A lot of exciting tennis all day long and all tournament long. Mario commenting, go Novak, go. American Francis Tiafo will be starting his 2018 U.S. Open run in the last match on Grandstand later this evening. Former U.S. Open champion Marin Cilic will also be playing on Grandstand. That match second on court. Cilic coming into the tournament as the number seven seed. A stacked day of some of the greatest players in the game facing off all day long. Sylvie in the comments saying, go Nole. Novak now switching sides. Bamshi commenting, it'll be a great match between Federer and Djokovic if they both reach the quarters. 
one of the most talked about storylines thus far in the Open is that collision course between Novak and Roger Federer, both falling in the same quarter of the drop. Leading up to the tournament, we've seen him out here on Ash nearly every day, getting some practice sets in for the tournament. This year's Wimbledon run gave Novak quite a bit of confidence that he had been missing, proving he can compete at the Grand Slam level once again after injury concerns. He defeated the 21 seed Kyle Edmund, the big server. He defeated Kane Nishikori, a former top five player in the world in the quarters. He, had, of course, had the battle with Rafa 10-8 in the fifth set in the semifinals before handling Kevin Anderson. In the finals, a fantastic run for Novak to the Wimbledon crown. Matches are just getting started around the grounds. A historic attendance yesterday. The grounds were packed all day long. Fans were excited, and the matches did not disappoint on opening day. See Novak starting to accelerate through the ball. Take some volleys. Just a quick warm up for all the players now that match week has begun. Antonio in the comments saying it is Djokovic time. Celeste in the comments rooting for Novak as well. Osvaldo in the comments saying hello from Argentina and rooting for Novak. Thank you for joining us. Heidi asking whether the roof is open or closed. The roof is open. The sun is shining. And so Nam in the comments saying happy to see Novak playing. Of course, all of us are excited to see Novak back to his Grand Slam winning ways. It has been a while since the full Big Four were fully healthy and playing at the Grand Slam level. Of course, Andy Murray back winning his first round against the Australian Duckworth yesterday in Louis Armstrong Stadium. That another emotional win for Murray as he tries to, to make his way back. Stan Wawrinka, another player who's dealt with Significant injuries over the past year came out and looked fantastic yesterday in a straight set victory over the eighth seed Grigor Dimitrov. That's the second time Vavrinka has defeated Dimitrov in the past couple months. Novak's opponent, Martin Fuksovic of Hungary, a former number one ranked junior in the world, 26 year old. They have not played before. But the Hungarian comes into the tournament ranked number 41. Lost in the first round in pa the past two U.S. Opens, but he did reach the fourth round of the Australian this year. He looked like he was playing well in his practice session here on Ash just before Novak came out.
comment asking when does Roger Federer start? Well, we'll be bringing you Roger's live practice later this afternoon. But he will hit the court this evening. Federer, the first match in the evening session here on Arthur Ashe Stadium. That match expected to start just after 7 p.m. against the young Japanese player Nishioka. Novak content with his volley, now taking a quick break. Carol commenting from Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you for joining us. Mo asked what time will they start playing. Uh, Novak will be wrapping up his practice session in just a few minutes. We'll head back in the locker room and then we'll see the first match here on Ash. Caroline Wozniacki against Sam Stozer. That match will be coming at noon Eastern. Bana commenting, watching from Bahrain. Good luck, no way. Thank you for joining us. We expect Novak to come out and warm up some serves and returns. Fans starting to pile in here to Arthur Ashe Stadium. Excited to catch an earlier than anticipated glimpse of Novak here just finishing up his practice session. Novak, of course, one of the most athletic players on tour. We know how quickly he can turn defense into offense, how effectively and efficiently he can cover the court. It's nice to see him back in full health and doing exactly that out here in practice week. Christine in the comments, rooting for Novak, saying good luck. Sylvie saying hello from Queens, New York. Well, Sylvie, make sure you come on out here to the Open. A lot of great tennis to be played. Novak heading back on court to take some serves. Novak practicing the four ball toss trick there. I don't think we'll see that one in, uh, in the match today. I don't know if we'll see that underhand serve in the match either. Novak, of course, a beloved player on tour, often known for his incredible impressions of other players. Martin in the comments rooting for Novak. Set the court, man. Mary, I'm in the comments saying good luck. Wish I could be there. Well, I definitely recommend coming out to the Open at some point. It is truly a one-of-a-kind experience. Novak hitting his spots on the serve.
Novak motioning for his opponent to play out the point. Well, that's the backhand that Novak has been looking for, a screaming backhand winner down the line. Switching rackets here, trying out a different spec on this frame. Hmm. Novak now warming up some second serve. A beautiful kick out wide from Novak there, jumping up over the shoulder of his opponent. It was unable to return it back in the court. Kick up the tee. forehand there from Novak. The forehand's been no, pra no problem in practice this week. Has looked sharp on that side. Again, we will be bringing you live coverage of player practices and behind the scenes coverage all day and all tournament long. Joey Brander here with you throughout, so make sure you keep it locked in on U.S. Open social media for all that. Later this afternoon, we'll be bringing you Roger Federer at 5 p.m. Eastern and Maria Sharapova at 6 p.m. Eastern, their practice sessions live, so make sure you tune in for that. Maria in the comments reading for Novak. Novak now switching to the outside. As coach mentioning for him to keep accelerating on the serve. Not to slow down that racket head speed. More and more fans starting to pour in as Arthur Ashe Stadium is open. Fans excited to get in their seats for a couple of exciting battles in today's day session. Joseph in the comments saying, wish I had his serve. Well, Joseph, don't we all? Beautiful serves from Novak. His match coming up, second match on Stadium Court here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. This, of course, the 50th U.S. Open. Novak with that strong jab step into the court after the serve. Impressive footwork as always.
big kick serve off the tee for Novak there. 